tunneling right so what is tunneling uh, we will see so handling the general case of making two different network in the network is exceedingly difficult so we already seen the difficulty how uh, different networks were connected so we used that uh, ip on top of it but still that network layer protocol itself may vary so again we have to use some common protocol at its top or some devices should be used in between for doing that protocol conversion and all now there is a common special case so tunneling is something that is not uh, that is uh, you can't generalize but uh, uh, some special situation you can apply it so it's a special case that uh, yeah that is manageable even for different network protocols so we will see so this case is where the source and destination host are on the same type so that is a requirement so in general in the networking you can't uh, expect this but if your inter networking is in such a way that both source and destination are on the same network if both source and network are on the same network but in between there can be any number of different networks so that is fine right but source and destination should be on same network then we can go for tunnel so as an example say the link uh, of an international bank say with uh, an ipv6 network in paris the bank is having <coughs> one branch located in paris right and that uh, particular branch is you making use of ipv6 network the latest emerged one <coughs> and another uh, branch located in london which is again using ipv6 so as both the source and destination are using same network ipv6 but the connectivity between these two office offices are through ipv4 and in between we are having a different network so this is where we can depend on tunneling so this is on example similarly you can uh, take anything where the source and destination are on same network uh, but in between any number of different network are possible so the solution uh, any any in in between a different network is possible so that is the first thing we are considering but we can generalize even so the solution to this problem is a technique called tunneling and we can see that with this example so here the um, particular machine that is located in paris is trying to communicate with uh, another one located in uh, london and uh, um, hopefully we have uh, the same ipv6 network uh, at uh, 2n so we can go for tunneling because in between we have a different network that is ipv4 so what we are doing is uh, we are depending uh, so this th the thing is uh, something done entirely by the router and the router is a multi protocol router right so multi protocol router we already seen so it is capable of handling different protocols here ipv6 and ipv4 so the router is knowing the format and the communication uh, of both the networks so that kind of a router we deployed so here also we are having the same multi uh, multi protocol router right now what the multi protocol router will do is it can understand both ipv4 and ipv6 so whenever it is getting an ipv6 packet from this uh, source it will just add an ipv4 header over it so already we have the ipv6 packet exactly this one is taken where this ipv6 packet is having uh, uh, the both uh, uh, header and data part the same thing is retained right in addition to this ipv6 header we are additionally attaching an ipv4 head header or inside an ipv4 packet we are encapsulating the ipv6 packet okay or we right we are doing some kind of wrapping for the ipv6 packet the ipv6 packet is wrapped inside an ipv4 packet right so that is the thing so something similar we already seen also i think i think so and once it is wrapped now just by uh, you can it can communicate that ipv4 uh, packet because this network is knowing the syntax and semantics of ipv4 protocol right so it will simply uh, or happily take that ipv4 packet and it will be delivered at the destination uh, multi protocol router multi protocol router and this destination multi protocol router will remove this or unwrap this message in such a way that it will remove the ipv4 header that is being attached by so he this so this one will add ipv4 header and this one will remove it right so and the ipv6 packet alone is delivered to the uh, other part so it's very nice right so we don't have to do any protocol header conversion nothing right simply we are uh, wrapping it inside another packet and we are setting it at the other side we are unwrapping it and or we are removing that extra header that we added so that is the process so it is something <coughs> you can visualize like the information that is ipv6 packet that is being shown by 
and this dash uh, i mean this dotted lines is moving through a tunnel so like that you can see the tunnel is actually that wrapping done by the ipv4 header right so done by the this particular multi protocol router so insert this uh, th this particular tunnel it is traveling nicely right at this point that is uh, the tunnel is uh, uh, removed or it is unwrapped and the message alone is passed to the destination right so that's all. So the same thing is being explained here. The to send an IP packet to a host in London office, the host in Paris office constructs a packet with an IPv6 address in London. So uh, the London uh, and Paris both are located in IPv6. So both are having <coughs> um, means they can communicate each other with the IPv6 address. So the packet is uh, um, created with the IPv6 address, and you know the IPv6 address is of. Oh uh, yeah, 128 bit, right? So that 128, uh, 128 bit bigger IPv6 address is given for the packet, and it is handed over to a multi-protocol router that connects the <coughs> Paris, that is the destination IPv6 network, to the IPv4 network. So when this router gets an uh, IPv6 packet, it encapsulates a packet with an IPv4 header address to the IPv4. <coughs> side of the multi, proto multi um, protocol router that connects the other part so this is um, that is the router puts an ipv6 packet inside an ipv4 packet by attaching its header so when this wrapped packet arrives at the uh, destination side uh, multi protocol uh, router the london router removes the original ipv6 packets and sends uh, onward to the destination host removes the uh, wrapping that is that ipv4 header right so path through the ipv4 uh, internet can be seen as a big tunnel extending from the uh, multi protocol on one side to the other uh, like what we seen in the previous slide so this ipv6 packet just travels from one end of the tunnel to the other end just as a, a snug in its uh, nice box so that box is actually our ipv4 wrapping or the tunnel so it does not have to worry about the uh, about dealing with ipv4 at all so neither do the host in paris or london so on the way this ipv4 <coughs> is something a different network right in the uh, because of this tunneling process we don't have to worry about the third uh, different network that is sitting between these two networks that is ipv4 and also the host in london or paris nobody is has to worry everything is done by the multi protocol router in between so only the multi protocol routers have to understand both ipv4 and ipv6 packet so in effect the end of trip from one multi protocol router to the other is like a single hop like that you can visualize what are all the uses like uh, what we already seen so now tunneling is widely used to connect the isolated host and networks using other networks so the isolated in the sense uh, something where we are doing some kind of experiment in the previous case also that ipv6 uh, branch that is located in uh, even london and paris that is something experimental right so that is somewhat isolated the other part uh, the entire network is depending on ipv4 and when we are experimenting something like ipv6 and we want to have a con con connectivity between them we can depend that ip uh, ipv4 tunneling kind of thing so the network that uses is called the overlay so that uh, resultant one is some kind of overlay network you can see uh, after doing tunneling so since it has effectively been overlaid on the base network so base network that's uh, ipv4 network so the deployment of a network protocol with a new feature is a common reason as like uh, ipv6 uh, over ipv4 uh, so so right now we introduced uh, a new protocol it is ipv6 or a protocol with some new features and that is being deployed how to deploy such a new experiment so we can depend on this like ipv6 we experimented with the help of tunneling over ipv4 so the disadvantage of tunneling is that none of the host on the network that is tunneled over can be reached because the packets cannot escape in between so when you uh, wrap it and you are trying to tra move it through the ipv4 network on the way no one can take i mean uh, through that ipv4 network none of the machine which are attached to that ipv4 network can understand what is there inside the packet no the packet should not be destined to anyone only the ipv6 network that is sitting on the other side can understand it so uh, that is a difficulty that means on the way uh, none of the host uh, or the uh, of the network uh, that is tunneled over uh, can be reached because the means the packet can't reach anyone on that ipv4 network right only it has to be unwrapped then only it, it should be communicated to the other side network so like that it is going so it may be felt as a disadvantage but actually this advantage uh, this this particular disadvantage is uh, utilized 
uh, as an advantage when it comes to a concept called virtual private network so something uh, we touch upon sometimes back so virtual private network you know it's a kind of extra net the organization uh, just like uh, the uh, two different branches of the uh, bank is uh, located in london and paris and between them whatever communication is happening actually the third party that particular ipp network is not supposed to hear it so that is our requirement so that is where we are getting that security right so the limitation that we highlighted that means on the way and that different network can't understand that particular packet is actually an advantage uh, so when it comes to security aspect particularly in virtual private network so vpn is simply an overlay that is used to provide uh, the measure of security uh, the same organization branches spread over different part of the internet and they want to have a secure communication between them so why don't they go for tunneling so that the uh, on the way no one can understand what is inside that particular uh, wrapped one right or uh, also for the experiment of a new protocol like uh, what we see so these are all the situation where we can use tunneling first of all it's a kind of mechanism by which we are handling that heterogeneity or that internet working so in that way we covered it here thanks for watching and now two more aspects we will see in subsequent video that is routing in uh, this in internet working and also uh, the so called fragmentation yeah thanks for